and we're just doing the beer today, yeah? Well, I, I was hoping for a pompadour, so... <laughs> I'm Dave Banks with Beer Brand HQ and we're cutting Trent's beer today. Right, Trent. Yeah. You want to go back to a six month mark you've just shown me a picture of, yeah? Yep, that'd be about right. <clears throat> so around there-ish, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And the reason being for that is that it's just kind of a bit too unmanageable now, or? It's, it's just a lot. Yeah. I, I, I did the year for the experiment and- have, So this is a full year? This is a year, and I, I've done a few maintenance trims just to kind of keep it right at that year length. Yep. Um, but I'm, I'm a little weary of it and ready for for a different look, and I and I felt the most, I felt the most confident in about that six month mark with it. Yeah. So I want to go back to that look and hang okay. on that for a bit. Cool. So I'm just gonna comb through the beard first. Looks like it's in quite a good condition. You put your product in this morning. Yes. Oil you, and utility. And the utility bomb. bomb. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, first of all, we're gonna drop some sea salt spray in. Do you have a preference on scent? I've got Temple Spokane right now. Okay. Do you want to do, keep want to keep with that? Sure. Yeah. It's really good for hold, as long as you drop a little bit of oil in just to give it a bit of nutrition after, a bit of moisture. But it's really good if you're starting it in the morning. It's just a light mist. It's good for the barber as well because if the hair doesn't move when you cut it, you don't end up just pushing the beard around. You end up actually cutting it because there's a bit of hold there. Okay, so we're going to start underneath the beard. And we're going to kind of clamp the beard in between the, the brush and the hair dryer. The hair dryer is on a medium heat, so you want to check that's not too hot. Too hot. You should be able to hold it against your skin on the dryer to check that it's not overheating or going to cause any damage to the hair. If it's too hot, the beard will start to smoke, and you're doing some damage. You're drying it out. It's going to become brittle. We'll start the taper around there, just at the bottom of the ear. I think it's going to blend out really nice. That is going to give it a fuller look on the cheek as well. We're going to look to see where it kind of thins out. I think it's about there. From about there downwards, it seems to thin out. So it's going to give it a fuller look as well. Uh, I want the client completely straight. And I'll always start a little lower than where I, where we've agreed, and that's just so that. I can show the client and you can say, yeah, take a touch more off. I don't ever want it to be too short and then we've kind of made that, made that error. So that's where it's full, look. If you look in the mirror for me, Trent, I've just took that little Y there, look. Mm -hmm. That's where it's full. So you can go a little bit shorter. This is where it's going to look full at the longest you can have it. Right. So it's up to you, man. Yeah, you can you take can a little bit more. Whole, yeah, you can go Touch shorter. Okay. Take a break, We're going to make some yeah, wigs today. I hope my brother shoots this um, AR-15 training video. Um, and I was one of the camera guys. And I was like, oh my God. Okay, underneath we want to start moving to the back of the beard now. So there's going to be a slight angle. So we're not just going to come straight down. We're going to start moving under the beard and putting a slight angle in. This is going to allow better movement, say Trent was wearing a collar, and it'll give a better shape and it'll grow out nicer. There's curls at the back, they're kind of going to be annoying. So we're going to make sure that we're getting rid of those. So instead of just starting over here or over here, we're going to edge out either side equally until we get a nice line and then we can start to round it. Did you enjoy your time when you were editing, Rhonda? Me? I'm sorry, yeah. I'm zoning. I, <laughs> I loved it. I went to school for film. Okay. Um, RTS major out here at UT. Yeah. And so, yeah, like it was really good to, to do that just temporarily. I still, I'm, I do a lot of the creative stuff yeah. still, but um, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so we're just working out here now, just trying to keep this nice line. It's going to be completely square uh, at this stage while we're determining a good length for it. We, we know we're here, but we're going to work this out completely straight. 
then we're going to start to put the shape in. Yeah, we used to do L'Oreal like every year. Uh, this kind of length as well, the beard will look really thick. And then uh, when I gave him a private chef up in the hands, and, uh, I was a fourth person, pretty, pretty big name, people that probably know, but uh, just uh, people that like, first people that ever like started in the stock exchange, and uh, um, they did it with lines from Spielberg, let's just say that, but, uh, yeah. and they did various compounds in his block. Okay, if you pull out as well just after, there'll always be a few little hairs there that's worth tidying up on this second pass. So if you just come forward for me now, Trent, and just double check that length. I'm obviously going to shape it and we're going to take a little bit more and even it up, but that's the kind of length it's going to sit at. Yeah, I like yeah? That. Yep. Cool. At the moment we've got a right angle. So the beard comes to the shoulder and then it's got a heel on it. So we want to kind of take that off. Not too much, but we want it so there's movement there. And we'll go for a round shape. So we're going to start working down the heel. You killed, you killed it, mate. You smashed it. Thank you, sir. Sorry, Mr. Speed. And this is where I'm going to start getting, because we're going for a rounder shape, we're going to start trying to work in some roundness into that corner. We're getting that nice shape through here now. Okay, so there's an angle that I'm looking at from the back of the beard here that you probably can't see on camera. And it's that I want this to drop down and kind of kink round and out. And I can see it's, I like it on this side, but on this side it just doesn't look quite as uh, defined. You might be able to see it if you raise the camera down there. So it's down here I'm looking from, from that view, from the angle. And it's whether it kicks out here. Because that's the, that's the roundness that I'm trying to put into the beard. Okay, we're getting a good shape now. So it's important at this point to start working through the sides now. And then we can round more through here as we know what this is going to look like. This is dropping completely flush at the moment. We want it to kind of be a bit tighter at the top and work out. So we're going to start up here with maybe a three. Start taking a little bit of this bulk away. We could do that freehand, but it's going to be more even if we use a three just, just through here on both sides. Some loose hair here. I'm not going to try and go too far in here. I'm, I'm not actually going to touch the skin with the guard until I move up higher. We've got a little more work to do here, but we're just going to get an overall shape before we start detailing. I'm actually going to clip the tash out of the way because it needs it's quite a long moustache and it's, it doesn't know whether it's part of the beard or not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell where one is. Yeah, where it, where it starts and where it ends. So we're just going to literally drop a clip in that and separate it. This is going to be hard for you to talk for a sec. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start smoothing the sides of the beard in. And I'm using these two fingers as a guide. So although it's freehand, I'm using a guide. And it starts to kind of take the curls off now, which is good. It's going to make it more manageable. Yeah, I tried a year. I, I got through about four months and uh, it was just wild. All in the knee was all over the shop. I always looked like I was really unkept. And I didn't cut my hair either, so I really Ooh, did look a mess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's hard when you're in a barber shop because people are driving past and they're like, I'm not going to get a haircut in there because that guy looks really booky. So I've dropped down to a 0.5 here. And I'm just trying to chamfer the edge. I can manoeuvre with just a guard from a one, so if the, if the uh, clipper is up, that's around a one and a half. As I drop it down, I can go all the way down to a 0.5 by just tilting the guard, tilting the blade, sorry. 
and that saves you chopping through guards. We're switching to the detailer now, and we're going to clean out the hair down the heel of the beard, a little bit of ear hair, and we might may start to drop the lining now as well. So you want to be quite reservant here. You don't want to come too far down. Just take the hair that kind of makes a nice line. So we're only going to just kind of set a light line in there because the, the blade's going to tidy that up for us when we drop a hot towel on. So we've got one and a half guard again. And it's going to be in a 1.75 position. So we've half closed the guard, the blade, the lever. And I want to start blending out where that point is basically. Okay, we're going to release the moustache now. The trank can talk again. There we go. Release it. And that's the desired effect. The hair is kind of tapered in underneath and it emphasizes the moustache. And now we're going to start adding this round shape through the corners. So we're not going to take any more length off here. <clears throat> I'm going to use the clipper and I'm going to hit the beard at say a 35 degree angle. And from the front that's going to start rounding the shape. Get a nice round angle through here as well. It's almost like it's 3D. <laughs> this is you've got to you've got to round it from here. You've got to round it from there. You've got to round it from here. So there's like there's three angles to hit to get that round shape. So we're going to use a texture blade, and we're just going to start thinning out this one side of the beard. Yeah, it's kind of evened up a bit now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think slightly a few curls around here as well. So, a scissor, just a, a freehand scissor can tidy that up. And I'm going to hold this angle. I'd say it's about, well, it's actually, I'm following the line of the top of the tash. So I'm matching the angle there. And I'm going to start nipping just the edges off. This will feather the tash out. I'm going to start taking a little bit of bulk there, the corner of the clipper. Anything that falls, that pushes back, when I want to comb the tash out, anything that comes back into the cutting area is going to get taken off. And we're going to use this eight inch scissor and we're going to just tidy up, moving one blade. And we're just letting, we're taking off whatever falls into the beard there. Whatever falls into the scissors, sorry. You want to catch the skin while it's still warm and moist. I'm just pulling the skin up straight. I can drop a straight line in there. And when I drop down, it'll have a natural curvature to it. We're going to go four viruses because everybody's had it all, all yesterday, all today. Everybody's on the four viruses hype. It is a good one. So yeah, the key with this as well is it's very tempting just to wear it completely down. But sometimes it's with a rounder beard, it's good to kind of push up again and have a little bit of a volume in it. I'm just going to show you from these sides as well, just the back. <laughs> How it's sitting. Like Feeling better? Much mm better. -hmm. Okay. Like oh, well.
this is goodbye. Possibly, perhaps. Not really going to show up on this channel anymore. I'm over on Beard Brand Alliance. That's where all of our grooming and self-improvement videos are going. If you dig those videos, head on over there. Otherwise, just stick around and watch more barbershop videos.